Hello everyone and welcome back to Her Science. Today we are going to be talking about hydrogen bonding. As always, we're going to start off with a definition before moving on to more practical use um, of what we're learning about. So hydrogen bonding. A hydrogen bond is an intermolecular force that forms a special type of dipole-dipole attraction when a hydrogen atom bonds to a strongly electronegative atom exists in the vicinity of another electronegative atom with a lone pair of electrons. Now, this is a big, scary definition for something that is pretty um, simple. Uh, but first, I want to note that hydrogen bonding occurs only in molecules where hydrogen is covalently bonded to one of three elements. And those elements are fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen. Okay, and here I have um, what's called an electronegativity chart. So each atom in the periodic table has a defined level of electronegativity. And if you look here, I know the print is pretty small, but we can see that fluorine is the most electronegative, and down here, I believe this is francium, um, is the least electronegative. So electronegativity increases as we get to this corner of the periodic table. Um, but having a high electronegativity number simply means that it wants electrons, okay? And like I said, right here are going to be the atoms that we are focusi focusing on, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. And here I have drawn out hydrogen bonding in practice. Um, this is a really simple one to understand uh, when you use uh, H2O or water. So here is one water molecule. H2O is a polar molecule because oxygen is much more electronegative than these hydrogen atoms here, which means that it pulls hydrogen's atoms um, more closely to itself, which leaves this side of the molecule, the oxygen side of the molecule, it leaves it slightly electronegative. Um, and then that means that these hydrogen atoms become electropositive. Now, because this side of the molecule, the oxygen, is electronegative, it becomes attracted to electropositive molecules, meaning the hydrogens of other water molecules because the water molecules are electropositive. Whoops. So you'll see these red dots here. These represent a hydrogen bond. The oxygen and the hydrogen um, of different water molecules become attracted to one another. Um, and this is just another example of that with um, fluorine and hydrogen, essentially the exact same thing. So why is hydrogen bonding important? Hydrogen bonding is so incredibly important because you will see it all throughout biology. Um, hydrogen bonds provide many of the critical life-sustaining properties of water and also stabilizes the structures of proteins and DNA. And then what we're going to be talking about today is the stabilization of the structures of proteins and, well, not proteins, of um, DNA. So you may have heard at this point, maybe in a biology class, that the bases for DNA are thymine, adenine, guanine, and cytosine, and that thymine always pairs with adenine, and guanine always pairs with cytosine. But why is that? You know, you always hear that T pairs with A and um, G pairs with C, but why? So I've drawn out the structures of each of the bases, and you'll see here that we have an oxygen and a hydrogen here, and each of these um, have hydrogen bonds with neighboring atoms. Here we have a hydrogen and an oxygen and a hydrogen and a nitrogen. And then the same thing over here. Because of the structure of guanine and cytosine, these can pair to one another. And without these hydrogen bonds, DNA wouldn't be able to form. So you can, um, you can pretty much ignore these backbones here. So here's thymine, adenine, and this white part here is the hydrogen bond. Or if we look, here, let me change the color. 
So if you look right around here, this is what's holding all of these hydrogen bonds holding the DNA base pairs together, that's what's holy, holding together the entire double helix, because if these weren't here, this whole double helix wouldn't exist, and then therefore life wouldn't exist. And there are a lot of other reasons why hydrogen bonding is so important, because it does play into um, protein structures, which I'm about to make a video on protein structures, so stay tuned for that. But I mean, life couldn't exist without hydrogen bonding, so it's super cool. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you guys. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for next time.